Welcome to the YCN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Today, YCN travels to Langdon, New Hampshire, as the Lady Wildcats of Fall Mountain host the Hillcats of Hillsborough Deering. The Game of the Week is brought to you by H.R. Clough and Pierce Harge Heating, the home energy specialist. Ramonto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh. Casasa, free checking that pays. Now available at Claremont Savings Bank. And Echo Communications for all your printing needs. And LaValle Building Supplies for home improvement and construction from concept to completion. I'm Jeremy Stout, joined by Andrew Zerheide, and we're here tonight to watch a matchup between the Hillsboro Deering Hillcats and a young team coming into their second game of the season. What do we have to look forward to tonight? Well, with the Hillcats, we'll be keeping an eye on uh, Melissa Vetch. She is the 5'10 senior. She's one of two seniors on this team. She's probably going to be leading a lot of the game. And the freshman, Faith Grimes, she's 5'8". She's kind of an all-around player. She can score. She can rebound. Those two players will make a big impact here tonight. All right, and quickly, for the Fall Mountain Wildcats, who to look for on the court tonight? So Grace Bushway, the 5'6 senior guard, she'll be scoring a lot. And Brooke Almond. The forward 5'11 senior, she's again 5'11, very tall, she'll be a force in the paint. Those two players will definitely make an impact for the Wildcats. All right, looking forward to an early season matchup. We'll have the tip off right after this. The game of the week is brought to you by HR Clough and Pierce Harge Heating, the home energy specialist. Ramonto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh. Casasa, free checking that pays. Now available at Claremont Savings Bank. And Echo Communications for all your printing needs. And LaValle Building Supplies for home improvement and construction from concept to completion. Welcome back to Langdon, New Hampshire, where we are about ready to get underway. The Fall Mountain Wildcats hosting the Hillsboro Deering Hillcats and quickly off the tip, the Wildcats, Grace Bushway puts in the layup and an early lead here for the home team, 2-0. Nicely done, advancing the ball over half court, breaking the press, but a turnover underneath the hoop and it goes right back to the Wildcats. And just like that, Ella Stewart puts it in and doubles the lead for nothing. So haven't even been able to catch our breath and the Wildcats up for nothing, Andrew. Yeah, the Wildcats coming out here very quickly, putting uh, two layups in the basket, only 30 seconds into the game. So the Hillcats will inbound underneath their hoop. Trying to advance the ball and break this full court press. Coach Tiffany Lewis speaking with me earlier today saying that is one of the things that they've had trouble in the young season, a young team. And uh, breaking that full court pressure has been a problem in the first game. But they look to gain some experience here. And a nice shot, 15 footer is good. That's number 33, Brooke Almond. Yeah, very nice shot by Almond, right at the free throw line. Nicely done there, broken the press. And Maddie, no, excuse me, Hannah Kirsten Klo. Number one, Kirsten Klo. On the breakaway, she's fouled. She'll go to the line and shoot two. So early hole for the Hillcats, 6 nothing. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerheide on our... Season debut, YCN game of the week. Fall Mountain and Hillsboro Deering. Fall Mountain winning their first game at Camp L, 66-35, and Hillsboro Deering falling in their opening contest. Flo can't connect on her first attempt. Low second up, and it's good. They're on the board, 6-1 now. Nicely done, tipped out of play, breaking up the pass. Klo, the senior guard. Ball mountain ball, 6-1 with the lead. They'll start with it in the half court, throws it in and it's intercepted. Nicely done there. By number 23, Nicole Mooney. Mooney picking up her dribble. Full court pressure, Ella Stewart on the pressure. And there'll be a turnover, go back to the Wildcats. So nice job there, Andrew, by the Wildcats 
once again, that full court pressure. Looks like we're going to see that a lot tonight. Yeah, both teams prov uh, providing a lot of good pressure on the ball. Seems right when there's a turnover, the ball gets turned over right back. Fall Mountain still with a small lead here early on. Fall Mountain inbounding in. They get it inside this time. But once again, Ooh. nice defense in the paint by the Hillcats, making Fall Mountain work for it. But Fall Mountain continues to swing the ball around the perimeter. The shot up by Dana Dearborn, no good. Rebound, and Zoe Lupa will go to the line, shooting two. Yeah, very good ball, uh, ball movement by the Fall Mountain Wildcats, getting a lot of good scoring opportunities. Lupa's first is up and good. They now lead, Fall Mountain now leads seven to one. Lupa, the 5'11 junior. Our second one is up and good as well, extending that lead to eight to one. 6.15 to go here in the first frame. Inbounds pass is a little long. And it wasn't touched on the inbounds pass, so that means Fall Mountain will get to inbound it all the way underneath their own hoop. So a young Hillcat team, as we've seen so far in the early going, struggling to get the inbound, struggling to advance the ball, and we will see that from a young team. Yeah, absolutely, a lot of underclassmen, only, a, only two seniors on this team. Fall Mountain inbounds, no problem there. Shot is wide by Dearborn and rebounded by the Hillcats. There they go, breaking the press, getting a little bit of a run, a three on three. And they'll take that opportunity to make the shot. Nicole Mooney with the two point shot, number 23, the first field goal for the Hillcats. Nice pass inside and up and good. Ella Stewart for Fall Mountain getting the layup. Very nice move by Stewart. Well, the last two times now, the Hillcats have broken the press, so maybe they've found something in the pressure, but still scrambling, scrambling a little too much. Looked like they had lost the ball, but they kept control. And the Hillcats will inbound. Faith Grimes inbounding it to Kirsten Clough. Low picks up her dribble behind the three-point line, but she's bailed out after Melissa Veach is able to get open. Moving the ball around the perimeter is Mooney. Gets it into Clow, but it's blocked. The three-point attempt is blocked. Fall Mountain comes up with it. Then the long pass down court. It looks like the Hillcats, they, they get it taken away there, and this is going to be a fast break. Zoe Lupa with the easy layup, and it's 12-3, full timeout on the floor. Hillsborough Deering wants to talk it over. They trail 12-3, 4.47 to go. We'll step aside. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide, where the Fall Mountain Wildcats lead the Hillsborough Deering Hillcats 12-3 in the first quarter. The YCN Game of the Week and Saturday YCN Live College Game Day is brought to you by HR Clough, the home energy specialist, and the Valley Building Supply and Casasa. Free checking at Claremont Savings Bank. Thank them for making this coverage possible. So we are just about ready to get underway here as the Hillcats will inbound. Full court pressure once again. Tipped away by Fall Mountain number three, Grace Bushway. Goes out of bounds, stays to the Hillcats. Tipped, and this time it is stolen. The turnover, and number five, Ella Stewart with the basket underneath the hoop. Nicely done there. Zoe Lupa getting a hand on the inbound pass. Hillcats are able to advance this one. And a nice layup put back there. Number three, Melissa Veach. Had the two on one right underneath the hoop. She was able to take advantage. And now some pesky defense by the Hillcats. Kind of pressure Fall Mountain out of the perimeter, but Fall Mountain gets it inside. Number 33, Brooke Almond. 
And now Fall Mountain leads 16 to five. And Andrew, we've seen some good defense on the perimeter, but seems that Fall Mountain has the answers. They just get it inside of their, their big players and easy layups. Yeah, Fall Mountain really working as a team. A lot of nice passing, creating a lot of good opportunities to score, high quality scoring chances. And the Hillcats just playing a little bit more sloppy, not quite finding the right person to pass to. And multiple turnovers, but let's see how they respond. And the Hillcats have broken the press a number of times, and then it seems like they're just getting, they're, they're moving the ball so fast to break that press, and then they can't slow down and reset their offense when they get in the half court. Right, they seem to panic a little bit. That ball is tipped away, but it will stay Hillsborough Deering basketball, so they'll inbound underneath their own hoop. Number 32, Faith Grimes, the freshman. Stolen away for a moment, but Hillsborough Deering comes away with it, and a wide open on the three-point line is Kirsten Klo. She misses the shot, but rebounded by Veach, and then it's turned over and goes back Fall Mountain's way. Look at that, just one, two, three passes, and they get an opportunity, but blocked by Veach. Yeah, nice job by Veach, reading that pass, making the block. And the inbounds pass to a wide open Stewart. She wasn't able to connect. Hillsboro Deering able to regroup, and now they'll set up their offense in the half court. Moving the ball nicely, just trying to find somebody open, not trying to force anything into the middle. They're content to dribble it around the perimeter and flash to the middle. And a foul on the Wildcats, so that'll be their first, I believe. Excuse me, their second. So Hillsborough Deering will inbound, tipped away, but recovered. Kirsten Klo. 2.42 remaining here in the first quarter. Fall Mountain leads 16 to five. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide on the season debut of the YCN Game of the Week, basketball. Travel, yep. Yeah, not gonna get away with that one, Zoe Lupa. I don't think she realized she was gonna pick up the ball that easily and she'd already taken a couple steps, tried to disguise it by tossing it, but not able to get that one. Excuse me, that was Alexis Parker, number 21, but stolen away by Fall Mountain and up underneath the hoop, and that's Zoe Lupa with the easy lay in 18-5 on the lead. Nice job by Lupa controlling herself. She's coming in pretty hard, but man, she got the layup. And a little of a contact there. Kirsten Klo turning the ball over and then running into the ball handler. He'll get called for the foul. Hillsborough Deering's third foul and a turnover as well. Pass inside, Ooh. nicely done there. Ella Stewart on the lay-in with the pass, and they're gonna give Brooke Almond the assist on that one. Nice pass, saw Stewart flashing to the middle, got it to her, and 20 to five now, all Fall Mountain. That shot blocked by Almond at the three-point line, and then Almond out on the break, the left-handed layup is good. Nice outlet pass there. Nicely done. And Fall Mountain really has it all working right now. Yeah, they do. They have seem to really mesh well together, these players. They know where they're going to be. Just a really good job. Ooh. Melissa Beach a little aggressive on that pick. It looked like she was yeah. set, but she might have moved a little bit. Uh, when she might not have needed to, so they're going to call the offensive foul and the turnover. So with 1.38 to go, Fall Mountain basketball leading 22 to 5. There's Stewart passing over to Lupa, then they eventually get it over to Brooke Almond. Shot up, no good, but Stewart with the rebound, and Fall Mountain gains control again. Very good ball movement by the Wildcats. Yeah, Almond nicely done, finds Lupa on the baseline. She puts it up and it's good. 
scoreboard goes out. Refs whistle time just to make sure the scoreboard's working. It is 22 to five with 1.22 to go in the first quarter. That last basket had not registered, so it's 24 to five. Stay tuned at the end of our telecast for the HR Clough Kearsarge Heating turning up the heat player of the game when we'll pick the top performer in today's matchup. So in the early going, it's been all Fall Mountain. And Andrew, it looks like uh, Fall Mountain's kind of called off that full court pressure. Yeah, it seemed like the Hillcats were breaking through a little bit. It worked for a while, but at this point, they decided to take it back to supply the defense down the court. Three-pointer no good. It's a little long, but a nice rebound offensively for Haley Hurd. And the Hillcats will set their offense back up, try and put another couple points on the board before the end of the first quarter. We're just about 50 seconds to go. Dribbling over in the corner. Hurd gets it inside to Grimes. Back out to Hurd. She'll take the shot. Foot was over the line. It was a two if it went, but no good. Nice outlet pass by Amon. But Lupa can't convert the layup. All Mountain offensive rebound. They'll kick it back inside to Stewart. And really, nothing anyone can do about that on the Hillsboro Deering side as Stewart has just had her way inside today. There's a turnover from Mooney there. Instantly dribbled off of her foot. And Look, the first quarter is winding down. Yeah, it looks like this will be the last possession of the first quarter. They're going to go up with it. Oh. Amen, and she gets the basket to count and the foul. So a big first quarter for the Wildcats. They now lead 28-5, to five and the senior, Brooke Amon, at the line, completes the... Traditional three-point play. They now lead 29 to five. Hillsboro Deering, one final possession, most likely tipped out of bounds, but it'll stay Hillsboro Deering basketball. Yeah, and so far for Fall Mountain, they have three players with at least eight points: Stewart, Lupa, and Almond. Stewart leading the way with 10. And the ball was stolen on the inbound, and then the traveling call, Zoe Lupa, by as she was called for traveling, the clock expired. So that'll do it for the first quarter. Fall Mountain leading 29-5. to We'll step aside and come right back with the second quarter. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. <laughs> 